catastrophic media failures in history. 300 million dollars. <laughs> Incredible. That's what they spent on this. <laughs> and the, the amazing part is, you know, the, the Warner or the Discovery team, mm -hmm. which never wanted this to launch, said so publicly, they're like, you know, we don't think there's a future for CNN Plus. There's like, we've got a, a we want to get synergies with our streaming things. At the end of the thing, they made forward looking statements. They basically did everything but call up the CNN folks and mm -hmm. say, don't do this, right. which they couldn't they by couldn't law. They couldn't do, right. Which they couldn't by law. They, they were like, don't do this. And they said it for a year. Yeah. And it seems like uh, my take on this, at least as an outside observer, and you may know more of the inside story here, but it seems to me that CNN and particularly the, the past leadership, uh, which, you know, he's, he, of course, stepped down the Andrew Cuomo uh, scandal, yeah. uh, but like. They did this intentionally to say, screw you, we're going to launch it anyway. We know you don't want it. That's why we're going to launch it before the merger. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. That's got to be what they did. They, they, they were not looking forward to this merger. And I think anything that they could do to make, maybe they thought by doing it, it would gum it up and they wouldn't buy the multi-billion dollar <laughs> entertainment conglomerate, you know, right. because CNN Plus and CNN is a, a bigger jewel than, you know, Batman. Right. And um, yeah. Harry Potter mm -hmm. and all of these <laughs> other things that they it's 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 amazing to me. And the people they put on it. Right. I mean, Chris Wallace leaves a great job at Fox News. Yeah, it's the, has, it was a perfect place for him. Yeah. He has the Sunday morning program, mm -hmm. you know, which is one of the big four Sunday morning programs. He just he gives it up and he's like, oh, I'm going to get this show on CNN Plus and it'll be all mine and I can do it. I, over the past like month, like couple weeks, because his viewership numbers on it have been so low because there were only 150,000 subscribers. <laughs> okay. yeah, let's look at this. Yeah. 150,000 subscribers at 300 million, which is what they've spent on it so far, is $2,000 per subscriber. Right. And I they spent $2,000. <laughs> Dollars. They it's could have like like it would have been better for the economy if they just went and found 150,000 <laughs> random people and be like, right. made it rain. Here's your 1,500. <laughs> yeah. I will save 500. But here's my here's my take on this because I saw that number two. Axios, I believe, was reporting it. It's been popping around today that they have uh, 150,000 subscribers. Here's my take on that. There's no freaking way they have 150,000 <laughs> subscribers. I, I, I would bet a thousand dollars on it right now that they do not actually have that because they, you know, the first of all, if they have 150,000, I guarantee a giant chunk of them are trials and freebies they've been given out. But secondarily, like if they had 150,000 in one month, you know, it, you wouldn't need to rush to shut it down. You'd be losing money. You'd be doing poorly. Okay. This is, this is, I bet they have more like 15,000 subscribers. I would bet it's closer to 15,000. Well, they, get 10, they, they say they get 10,000 video views a day. <laughs> right, right there. They get 10,000 video views a day with 150,000 subscribers. Come on. on an early and these subscribers are going to be the early adopters mm -hmm. that are most likely to watch it. They're not like add-on people, things like that. If you're going and spending fifty nine ninety five <laughs> right. or five ninety nine a month yep. for CNN Plus you're going to watch it. Right. And then what a lot of people were done, and this is the whole streaming rights thing, and, mm -hmm. you know, you, you see it um, with you know, getting different streaming services, but they, you couldn't even get CNN on CNN+. Plus, Right. Like the you linear yep. CNN, because of the carriage agreements that CNN mm -hmm. has, you couldn't get the linear CNN. Linear is the one that's on TV, right. for people that don't know. Yeah. Of industry jargon trying to... Sure. Make it so people understand. Yeah, of course. Um, even those people, you, you can't watch it. You can't watch CNN. Right. So like, you, people thought they were buying it as a way to like get CNN. And they <laughs> no. couldn't even get it. So it's just, it's amazing. And, and the fact that Brian Stelter <laughs> and Oliver Darcy had to write that article yeah, about that was, their own rough. death mm. is, yeah. I mean, I think the word schadenfreude. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that word, term yeah. used quite yeah. a bit uh, today. And, you know, look, I, it's tough because, you know, uh, people are there. So, not everybody is, is, right. is the annoying host you don't like, right? There's a lot of people there. They're going to lose their jobs. But, I mean, at no point was there ever an argument for this to work. 
it was never a time in which people were like, well, you know what? Maybe a lot of people really do want more CNN and want to pay for it. You know, there's no passion for CNN. There's passion against it. Right. right? But it's all it's like Joe Biden in this way. Like, you know, there if, if there was only two networks on television and you had to watch one of them and it was Fox and CNN, CNN would get a lot of subscribers because people would not like Fox and have to subscribe to the other. That's what happened between you know Biden and Trump. Right. People right. didn't like Trump. And so they voted for Biden, not because they liked Biden, but because they didn't like Trump. The same thing is on here, but there are, unfortunately, for CNN, tons and tons of other choices. You can watch The Blaze. You can watch Newsmax. You can watch Daily Wire. You can watch, uh, you know, I don't know, Young Turks. MSNBC. MSNBC. You know, there's a hundred other choices. Regular CNN. And there's no argument for enough passion for people to want to subscribe to CNN's product. They barely want to watch it for free. I mean, they they, they were admitting, right, that our nightly newscasts are so bad— And don't cover news. So we're going to hire straight news guy, Chris Wallace, to do a newscast on something you need to pay more for. (laughs) I mean, that was the that was the argument for it. Right. And they didn't even get to law. And and they took their like Anthony Bourdain stuff and put that on. They took a lot of their back catalog. Right. Well. You know, Discovery owns most of Anthony Bourdain's catalog. Mm-hmm. That's all going to be on Discovery Plus probably in a couple of weeks. And, and this this April 30th date, um, Licked, the guy that's going to take over, yes, um, takes over in early May. So this is all just the, we're going to clean the board, clean slate. Um, I do like, and if Stelter can be trusted, apparently they offered uh, 90 day of pay to these CNN Plus employees that they're letting go to find other opportunities within the entire Discovery Warner yeah. time frame. So they're going to try and hire from within. Mm-hmm. So hopefully these guys keep their jobs. And if they don't and they can't find one, they're going to get a six month severance. Right. So yeah. which, is, which is actually, you know, that good. doesn't happen in corporate America. No. And I so, will say, you know, CNN you know. has a lot of problems. We worked there. We did the show at CNN Headline News. It's a really great place to work, especially in the media environment, because, you know, as opposed to Fox, who actually expects you to work. Um, <laughs> CNN, it's got like, you know, you sit there, you show up, you, you, everybody has like 9,000 weeks of vacation. They have the literal best cafeteria of any place I've ever and worked at in free, my entire right? life. It wasn't free, but it was pretty cheap. Heavily subsidized. They're like, yeah. you know, stir fry bars every day. They, I mean, it was incredible. They had all sorts of great food. It was a nice environment to work. It felt like one of those media elite establishments where they, you know, they, it wasn't like a, a terrible place to work. And so, you know, I'm not surprised that they're taking care of their people. I think that's a good, that's a good thing, especially because a lot of these people, they lured away from good jobs, right. put them into the middle of this complete catastrophe and then pulled the rug from under them. I mean, uh, you know, like they better give them some freaking severance. Yeah, it's, but th- this whole thing from the start should have never been done. But right. It, but it, this was Zucker. Mm-hmm. This was Jeff Zucker giving a big middle finger mm-hmm. to the Discovery leadership and his boys that were still there that hadn't left doing this work.